We are discussing the the worst death of 1998 because <laughs> there's been some unusual ones this past year. Yeah. That great director who lost his life on the LIE. The pipe through the head. Has been driving the LIE for 30, 40 years and one day out of nowhere someone kicks up a pipe and the pipe goes through the windshield and uh, goes right through his skull. You could be driving fine. You in the speed limit, staying in uh, the middle lane if you want, doing whatever, just watching, paying attention. Someone kicks a pipe up. It's in your head. And there's nothing you could do. And that's how the guy dies. You're paying for something you did in a previous <laughs> life. And then Anthony brought up the, the Disneyland death. Oh, the poor bastard just taking his family to Disney. He's waiting for that big river boat thing. They throw the rope onto the big cleat on the dock. The boat's going a little too fast. The rope stretches, stretches. <laughs> the cleat lets, lets go like a slingshot. Of all the places in Disney, does it hit the top of the Matterhorn bobsled? <laughs> does it does it knock out that big speaker that's playing It's a Small World After All <laughs> over the park and do a, a public service? No. It clocks this poor guy in the head, kills him, and he dies. That's it. But there's a guy in the line who has a better death. Really? Hi, N.E.W. Hey, you, you guys missed the worst death of them all. Poor guy, he's paraplegic. He was in Pennsylvania at some party. Okay, you know, he can't even move his arms or anything. He, he can, like, blow in a tube and move his wheelchair. Right. He's at a party New Year's Eve. Okay? He, he decides to leave. Everyone thinks it's cool. I guess it's starting to snow. No one sees anything wrong with that. He's rolling home. His wheelchair gets stuck in snow. And, and the poor guy, he, he gets stuck. He can't move. He can't scream. And the guy dies. He freezes to death. Oh, my God. It was in the Times yesterday. I couldn't believe it. Is that awesome? I think that beats the poor guy who dies in the world. Oh, my Lord. Like being paraplegic isn't bad enough. I know. And it wasn't in the world. It was in the Times. So. You think he tried to rock it out? I you know. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I just suck in, suck out. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what this poor guy oh, is going through. What do you do? I, I, Woo, my feet are freezing. I can barely feel. Oh. No, no, no. That wasn't the problem. I think he knew he was in trouble. Uh, poor bastard. I, I don't that, know. that has to. Yeah, that could be the worst death of '98. <laughs> You're a mess, man. Why am I a mess? I don't know. Your papers are falling on the board. You can't push the button. <laughs> Just a cluster. Well, at least I got my headphones finally fixed. I don't look yeah. like Mickey Mouse anymore. Uh, bravo to engineering. Oh, he Opie submitted his headphones yesterday at, I believe, 305. Yeah. And at 341, he got them back. 341 today. Would you have to solder? Yeah, today. Today. It took it took 24 hours to fix a pair of headphones in engineering. Yeah, solder a wire. It takes time for the soldering iron to heat Now up. maybe they can fix our phone. <laughs> if you didn't punch it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, ridiculous when you try to dial out on this phone. Because we you could key in the phone number on the push buttons. Yeah. And like five to eight seconds after you push the button, it tones. Yeah. So it's like you, you push the button. Boop. Boop. And then sometimes it'll go. <laughs> God damn, it was the last number. And you guys start over. So Opie just beat the crap out of the phone yesterday. I did. I figured if we beat it up enough and break it, they'll fix it. Buttons popped off. Well, have you seen a phone like this? When was the last time they used a phone like this? 1930? Yeah, that's the that's the one step up from having the wires that you have to move around, plug in. Yeah. Please hold. <laughs> one ringy dingy. That phone system is... Look at it. Yeah. It's a mess. All right, whatever. It's got wood in it. Look, it's wood. It, there's wood. It's and wood. Watch, watch this, too. Okay. Count how many of these uh, knobs I can make fall off with one punch. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. We need that phone. It's like five knobs getting flying off. No one's calling today. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we need the phone. All right, give us a call. I want to make sure the phone still works. <laughs>